Last time on Who Would Win. Zero, did you come to save me? <laughs> yes, hang on. That's kind of how she talks. Oh. The huge maverick appeared and... Stay here, Iris. I I'll handle it. <laughs> you sound like Dark Helmet when he's playing with dolls. <laughs> hey, buddy, what'd you do to my girlfriend? Welcome back. Hey, guys. It's time. So th this is another cool thing about this game. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of them always do kind of like a little intro, but this one tells you the name of the dude. Oh, okay. He protects the secret weapon of the jungle. Web spider. So that thing's unique. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So all the all the, all the the levels have like cool little themes and stuff, you know? So nice. And it all kind of interplays with the, the final boss kind of thing. And this is this appears to be very much a um, kind of sort of a classic beat 'em up type type deal. Yeah, yeah, uh, or more of a you know uh, run and shoot thing. I guess like kind of like Contra. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it, I mean beat 'em ups and, and Contra are not much different. It's just so if you're Mega Man, this is a little secret area where you get uh, dash shoes. Oh, okay, but you've already you're dashing already. Yes. Oh, he's got it. He's got a trident. He does. You gotta watch out for them tridents. Like Poseidon. It's like a little. He's a water boy. <laughs> water boy. So you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of beasting right now. I'm not really. That's good. Not really thinking about it. If you oh, watched geez. the episode last week, you will have noticed a great deal of exposition where we talked. A bit about the game. Did we? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I could have gone for it. I didn't. Uh, you didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. Thought I had him, didn't have him. So you're doing like this wall jump type move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's another. That was something that was actually introduced in the first Mega Man X game. Okay. So there's there's regular Mega Man, right? Yeah. And those are like. I actually don't know, so yeah. Um, uh, fill me in. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm filling you in, coach, because I'm ready to play. Okay, good. <laughs> so there's the original Mega Man games for like the Nintendo, the original Nintendo, and then uh, I think they were all only for original Nintendo actually. Yeah, Super Nintendo was the introduction of Mega Man X. Oh, okay, all right. Like, just get fucked. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so the original Mega Mans were for Ready. Nintendo, and you know there were 8-bit games. And same kind of thing. Like, uh, all you did was uh, run and shoot. And originally... Shit. Oh. Originally, uh, all you could do was run and shoot little tiny, like, non-charged like non -charged, uh, bullet things. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to go for it. Um, it wasn't until Mega Man 3... Three, I believe that you could uh, charge up your X Buster. Get like a charge beam. Yeah, exactly. So similar to like uh, Samus. 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 Simon. Samon. Swanson. 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 Swan, Swan. on the briefcase. Check it out. Samsonite. I was way off. Uh, so yeah. So, Have we ever done that on the show? Yes, we did it. Oh, okay. Uh, on the last episode, you were talking about. Uh, you do it. You you do that joke on tour like all the time. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, what was I talking about again? I lost my train of thought. Um. Oh, okay. So the charge shot. So yeah. so originally, you literally were Ooh. just you're Mega Man, and you could only um you could only run at like a pretty slow, steady pace, and shoot little uh, little lemon bullets. Yeah. And then you get the charge lemon shot bullets? later. Yeah, lemon bullets. Lemon bullets. Yeah, that's what uh, Eager Raptor calls him in his video oh. about how Mega Man. X is the best game ever. Oh, okay. Wow. I mean, I don't disagree with him. It's one of the one of my favorite games. This is this one is my favorite in the in the X series. Uh, personally because I grew up with it. Yeah. My I had a friend who was like, I swear the only other person that I knew growing up that had a Sega Saturn. And he had this game for Sega Saturn. I was like, oh my god, a Mega Man game for Sega Saturn? Like I gotta play this, and I played it, and especially because of the this is this is the first time that this kind of like uh, 
3D sprite on a 2D background graphics uh, for this series were the way because the first three look exactly the same. Oh yeah, in terms of their uh, sprite style, yeah, they're just like like classic Super Nintendo sprite stylings. Yeah, uh, and then this one is the first one on like the the higher uh, the higher consoles, so the Sega Saturn and, and PS One. So this game came out for. PlayStation and Saturn? Is that the original? Yep. yep. Okay. That's that's its original release. Mega Man X series started with Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Super Nintendo. Uh, the original Mega Man is Nintendo. just Nintendo. Yeah. So, yeah. And they didn't actually, you know, Mega Man X, you would think that it's 10, right? They only went right. up to, like, Mega Man 7, I believe, before they did Mega Man X. So they iPhoned it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, never understood it, but I think I think it was more just like it was supposed to be like because everything in the '90s was extreme. That's right, including so, the band Extreme, <laughs> yeah, featuring Nino Betancourt. More than words, they they do more than words, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's like their worst song. Isn't that their only song? No, I mean that's their like only popular <laughs> song. But no, if you listen to some of their back catalog, they're like this this cross between like. Aren't they actually kind of like a, a metal band? It's like a cross between... Like hair metal? It's like a cross between hair metal and funk. Weird. Yeah. But yeah. then there's more than words. And then there's more than words. The acoustic breakdown. Because remember the uh, the music video? They like turn their amps off. Yeah. And... I do remember that. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You got fucked. Yeah, I did. But, you know, they turn the amps off happen. and then he grabs the acoustic guitar and this long-haired dude starts singing. That's so uh, so interesting. In black and white, so yes, sensitive. it is in black and white. Just like um, who's who was the other band that did that? Mister Mister. Oh really? Yeah, you know, just to be the next to be with you. That yeah. that's like that's not uh, indicative of their their entire catalog. Same thing with Hoobastank. Like uh, that one. Um, oh, dude, the reason is such a good song. And though. then it's dramatically different than the rest of the stuff on that album. Yeah. Cause they're like a man. I'm, I'm they not, were supposed I'm to be like a heavy here. pop punk band. They were yeah. They were supposed to be kind of like a uh, not new metal, but uh, but it was some. It similar, was around yeah. that time when new metal was like really popular. Yeah. They were uh, just kind of a alt rock. I think they had some scream outfit. vocals on there. If I if I remember correctly, I may not be remembering. Probably. Yeah. I actually saw them live. You believe that? Hoobastank? Yeah. Wow. At Pops. <laughs> oh wow! How was that? It hoop a stink in there. Not not great. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't the best. I went because yeah, a friend of mine was like, "Oh, dude, I love their old stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, but they're probably not gonna play their old stuff, man." <laughs> did, did they play their old stuff? Uh, like two of their old songs, just and because they the, were like the crowd pleasers. Yeah, they're like older singles, like uh, "Crawling in the Dark" and uh, "Running Away." I don't know those. Uh, "Crawling in the Dark" was was one of the that was one where it's like. Oh, this is this is what this band does. Um, I've been crawling in the dark, looking for the answer. Oh yeah, so that's, who that's right. That's yeah. right. I'm doing a really good job, by the way, of uh, showing everybody how good I am at Mega Man by Dude, you're just awesome. absolutely murdering this first boss. All right, you have to. They have to understand the risk involved of yeah exposing yeah. your. I'm 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 making myself vulnerable, y'all. That's right. I won't talk as much. No, I feel like we need to. Okay. You know what I was thinking, actually, too? We need to play games that are, like, frustrating to get more, like, emotion out of us. Are we going to be, be become a Dark Souls channel? No. I've never played Dark Souls. Nor have I. <laughs> that might actually be kind of funny, then. <laughs> we need to do, like, old games that we, like, maybe have tried. So I'm actually playing right now on my own. I'm playing... God damn, I am doing really poorly. You know uh, what the answer is? What? We just need to go back and play some more Mario 64. I mean, yes, I was actually going to <laughs> jokingly, but honestly, uh, suggest that. Uh, but no, I'm I'm playing uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah. And I've never played that game before, other than like helping my sister out with a couple levels. And man, it is it's hard. Yeah. It's it's a lot better than I I gave it credit for. It's just. The controls are a little bit different because it's it was like a, a really early like 3D, 3D platformer. Yeah. So the jumping is really something you just gotta like get down. 
Get down! Yeah. Those webs. Those yeah, those electric, they're, they're webs. electric webs. So do you get hurt when you go in those? Yes. Ah, so you don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh. Shit. It's all right. You're still in good shape. Oh, man. He's almost there. It's like Lone Star. He's already there. That's it. All right. There it is. All right. There we go. One more hit and I was going to die, too. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Here oh, we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, help. A little help now. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Sower earlier today about mm. steam cleaning the cabins. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Matt Sower. I hope you're watching this. If not, I'm going to send it to you, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like that shout out. <laughs> he will. Every year for his birthday, I just send him the same text of, happy birthday, you dumb shit. <laughs> Cause, do you remember that movie, Stuck on You? Who was in that? Uh, it was Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear as conjoined twins. Do <laughs> 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 you remember that? No. Oh, man. Dude, it's good. Wow. It's good. Uh, I think it still holds up, but it definitely has some like not okay jokes in it. It's an old. It's a Fairly Brothers movie. So same guys that oh. did uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So with Zero... Uh, okay, hold on. First, I got I, I got two stories going on at once here. Yeah. So I should say I, I'm gonna finish the story first. Uh, so the, the I'm gonna let you finish. Dumb shit thing is from um, from that movie, and there's a scene where like they're at a bar and some dude throw is throwing darts, right? Yeah. And he hits this old guy, and he just completely unfazed by it, and he leans over and he's like, I, I can't remember what he says, but he's like. You know, is it cold in here? Or, like, he, he says something kind of, like, off color. Yeah. And then this other old guy leans over to him and goes, you got a dot in your head, you dumb shit. <laughs> 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 and I don't know why that, that became so a nice thing, but it just did. You got a dot. <laughs> and I absolutely love shit. it. Um, okay, so but the other thing is, <clears throat> and we'll see you next time. No, um, so a zero, instead of... Uh, powers that come out of your X Buster, so like instead of like an ice beam or a flamethrower kind of thing. Yeah. He gets techniques. Oh. So some of them are like power ups for the saber and some of them are just like uh this one's kind of dumb, but you get like a double jump from one of the bosses. Nice. I don't know why, but like Zero gets a double jump and X doesn't. Yeah. But X's leg boot upgrade uh gives him the ability to kind of glide for a little bit. It's interesting. So they they both have like technique a little bit of technique you know, uh, superiority Squidward. technique superiority over the other. Um, okay, so with that, I wasted a lot of time dying a couple times, uh, but we are going to go ahead and move on right along to the next uh, boss. mushroom guy. We're going to do mushroom guy. Wow, who would win? We're going to do it on the next episode. Yeah. All right. So, so join us then. Join us in the next episode. We're going to find out who would win. One. Uh, uh, what are what are my, uh, one fung fungus guy, one cordyceps guy? Yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know what it should have been? What? Who's gonna win on the next episode? One fung guy? Oh. Or some spore reducing boy? Yeah. You had me in the first half. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. We'll see you then. <laughs>